Good morning. Thanks for listening to me this morning. So what I wanted, what you just saw was a really amazing video about how big this problem is in Africa right now. There's just very little access to clean water. And some things that you as a congregation and as a body can help to do to bring solutions to it. It's a very easy and solvable problem. And I think there's a couple of slides that we'll see here. So this is last month I had the opportunity to participate with Team World Vision as we did a event called Hood the Coast. And I joined up with an initiative to support South Sudan. Um, one of the, go ahead. So this is a, a, a group of my team members here. One of the people in the middle, Pastor Dean, you know. Many of us know her. Yep, so Stephanie, yep. Orange hair, that's right, so you'll see another picture of her later. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. This is our whole team. We had a group of 12 people, and then we were part of a broader team of 123 people. Go ahead. This is the guy who, who allowed me to get plugged into this. His name is Brian Frazier, and he works with World Vision, um, traveling around the world to help bring hope to these families. So at the beginning of this race, we had 197 miles that we had to run as a team. And this started at Mount Hood. Go ahead. This is the person who, who was sponsoring this initiative for South Sudan. He's actually a U.S. Olympian, was the flag bearer in the 2008 Olympics, and is a, um, a former lost boy of South Sudan. It's an amazing story. Go ahead. So there, there again is Stephanie in the middle. I, I thought you guys would enjoy that. Continue. So this was at the end of the race, after we had run 197 miles. And what we accomplished with this is we actually were able to raise over $575,000 for clean water in Africa. And what that means in terms of an impact is water for over 11,500 people. Right? So it just changes their life. And this is something that you guys can get involved in if you're interested. Don't, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, it's something that you can do if you're athletic. If you're not athletic, there's lots of ways to help. So um, that's what it. I, what I'm wondering, Isaac, uh, do we have to be willing to paint our hair orange? You, you don't. No, you just have to be a little crazy like me to do okay. that. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's thank Isaac.